Oh no no no! Oh we we're we're gonna die! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Ah uh, ah! Uh. Damn it! As I was plotting the death of the tiger, that happens. Well, we need to find our way back home now. Hmm. This is gonna be an adventure. Hopefully, it's not too hard. It, it was like off to the side of a huge mountain range. Unless we actually spawn in the same place, which is a possibility. And oh my god. Someone's been building. Let's go investigate what this guy has. And then we'll try to climb over the mountain. But oh my god. Someone has a little bit of a house here. This is interesting. Let's make our way up there. Oh, how are we going to get our stuff off our dead body? Hmm. That might be frustrating. At least we have kind of a base built to our house. Uh, really should have been more careful with that tiger around. Is this anyone's house? Can we maybe raid it? Is that a thing? Is that ours? No, it's not our valley. Although it kind of seems like it. I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know if we're able to find our way back. Do I have permission? Can I break it down? Nope. Hmm. Huh, we could build a trebuchet to try to tag it, but that's just take a bunch of rock, a bunch of wood gathering. But, it might be worth it. I, mean, I can already imagine a siege on this house. Just imagine that building, a little bit of a trebuchet up here on the mountaintop. And just, pwah, raining hell down there. Ah, uh, it's going to be a fun time. What is this? This isn't flax, is it? Red berries? Oh, food. That would have been very useful. Would have kept me away from that suicide mission I was going to perform on that tiger. Uh, very unfortunate that we had to take that path. Hopefully we can't find our way home. I'm not sure if we're ever going to find those goods that we had on us. We might need to venture back to where that tiger was. I don't know how to set the spawn either. I might need to ask around to see how you do that. But now we're on a lone and noble mission. Finding our way home. How that will be done? Fantastic question. I have absolutely no clue. Oh no, I don't think we can climb up that. Ooh, that's a steep slope. I kind of want to stay on top of the mountain range though. I don't want to venture away from it. Let's try to make our way up here. Not slide off. Uh, no, I think we're just going to keep sliding. We got to find our way around. No, no. Uh, 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 uh. Save me, son! Ah. Yeah, no. No point in struggling. We're not getting anywhere, but we do have a couple rocks. Might as well just get what we can from these. Uh, does our experience... Okay, so our experience did carry over. We still do have all that. Our inventory, however, did not. That would have been awesome if it did. Uh, but while we are here... Oh my god! There's a bunch of rocks. I, I kind of want to ditch my old house, to be honest, but... No, no. We did have a pretty good foundation. And, ah... Uh, at the same time, building close to this guy could make for some uh, entertaining action down the road. Huh. Definitely interested in starting a war with that guy. Might need to call in reinforcements, though. Not sure we could handle that by ourselves. Just get as many stones as we can here. Kind of exhaust the resources. Then we'll go looking for a bit. If we don't get lucky anytime soon, I'm thinking we resettle the land. Because there seem to be a bit less... Very dangerous people trying to kill us, and by that I mean tigers. God, those tigers are assholes, really. And actually, if we do keep gathering this many stones, we might just maybe be able to build that trebuchet and, well, try to attack that. Keyword is try. Because trebuchets don't cost too much at the moment. Do they? 100 wood and 100 stone. We already have, what, 57 stone? This is... This is very doable. Not enough materials, yeah. Well, I'm definitely a bit hopeful. I think all we gotta do is find a couple more rocks. We could very well have that ready very soon. Oh. I hope you guys are as, as excited as I am. All we gotta do, in realistically, find a couple trees. I think there's a forest up above us. And just find a few more rocks. It's our only real obstacle. Was that flax? No, just something. Just something. Well, 
Might as well start picking. Not picking, might as well start chopping down these trees. And I'll report back to you guys whenever I have enough materials and we'll try to undertake this. Alright, so before I do make this decision that's going to cost us quite a bit of materials, I mean 100 wood and 100 stone, that's a good chunk of gathering. We're going to investigate this, uh, this base over here, see if we can't maybe look through the creeks and crevices and see if it's really worth raiding. I mean, in hindsight, I don't think it really has anything that desirable for us. Uh, we could try to maybe cheese our way. No. Uh, I mean, it's very small. I, to be honest, I'd much rather use this wood and all that stuff I gathered, as you can see here. 144 wood, 69 rocks. <laughs> That's amazing, 69 rocks. I'd rather just use that to uh, continue building our own stuff. But the location of this has been mentally noted. Definitely going to keep that in the back of my mind and possibly uh, do a little bit of raiding on this guy. Stir up some controversy. Now, question is, where did we build? This is massive. huh? I don't know if it's really worth going back there. I don't think we're going to find our way back wherever we were. It's, uh, it's going to be a good chunk away. Hmm. I'm thinking in, in this predicament it might be best for us to kind of restart, maybe build here. Uh, we have a good source of food actually. All these berries prove to be fantastic for this purpose. That'll be great to eat. I don't know how much they restore. Let's actually just see that. Let's use it. You know, that's actually really good. It restores... When do we lose health? Either way, it restores health, it restores food, so very good in that regard. And the fact that we have a decent abundance of it within this area, I haven't really, I didn't see any in the old area, now that I am starting to see it's here. That's pretty good news in my, in my eyes. If we can just, eh, just gather whatever we can here. And then I'm thinking we'll go build it down. I want to build on a mountaintop, because I feel like that's going to be a lot more defensible of a position. Uh, maybe even, ooh. Maybe even on this little hill. This little flattened out area. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's not going to be the largest of mansions. But nonetheless, it's within two pretty distinct valleys. Gives us a pretty... I mean, there's really only one way of getting up here, which we could then defend. I mean, which is going to be here. Could be very good in that regard. Kind of far away from resources, but... I'm thinking we stick with this idea, begin building here. So, we need to rebuild our entire house. It's a very sad time, but hey, you know, it's not my decision. Even though it is, it's not my decision. We just gotta stick with it. Uh, like I said, let's. I just wanna look through, make sure I'm not missing anything that lets us respawn, unless it might be in the player workshop. The harness, whatever that's used for. Hides and bones. Ooh, we're gonna have to kill to get that. Gonna have to kill to get all of this, really. Hmm. That is the armor, though. We can't upgrade our armor. Ooh, ooh la la, you can upgrade. That's really cool. Hmm. But no way of spawning at home, apparently. At least that I'm seeing. Unless I'm missing something. I'm definitely gonna have to ask about that. But hopefully, we can remember our location here. And let's get to building. What do we have? We want to start off with a couple wood platforms. Again, definitely don't want to go too overboard. This is just our first house. I'm thinking, eh, we'll make it two, three by uh, three by three. It's pretty expensive though. And let's just get whatever much we can from this. Let's make it a three by three for now. We can barely fit that in. Nice, nice, nice. Damn, we don't have the materials. We had enough for five. Oh, that's going to be rough. Might have to do some more wood gathering. Luckily for us, not too far away, we actually do have a couple of these kind of trees in the side of the hill. Proved to be some easy gathering. Well, oh, can't really get close to that tree for some reason. I'll just go ahead and do a little bit of gathering off camera again. Don't want to annoy you guys with just the tedious process of gathering. Alright guys, so I've been gathering all night, and uh, here is what we have in our inventory. Over 400 wood planks, we should be able to craft up little bits of a decent house here. That is 
once I'm hoping to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put away my torch. I don't want that out. That's going to kind of get in the way for the most part. Let's us continue building this. I'm going to make it a 3x3, three three, like I said. That is kind of my vision for the house. Let's make it 3x3. Three three, and then we need plenty of poles. need one in each corner. There we go. Construction level is actually leveling up, which is great news. just want to check how our wood levels are doing. Didn't place that for a second. Thought that was odd. And we have the foundation for our house founded, for lack of better words. Now we just need to go ahead, get us some wooden walls going. Probably going to be best. Have those where they are needed. I can't put that down there for some reason. I think I'm going to misplace the pole. Oh no, we need even more poles. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Hmm. Well, poles. Okay, so it turns out poles you actually need way more than I initially thought. You actually need one on each side of each corner. Well, that's going to definitely raise the cost of building a good chunk. A bit unfortunate for my wood supply, but yeah, we're probably going to run out of wood pretty soon. Not even going to be able to finish out this first floor. That's kind of saddening. Luckily, oh, our food's starting to go down too. We probably want to open up our inventory. Eat up these berries, which really early games serve to be the by far the best and most reliable way of living. I'd, I'd have to guess that uh, the stupid, not dinosaurs, I'm thinking Stomp and Land for some reason, the animals and whatnot, I'm guessing their food would probably restore a ton more than what's currently being restored by my stuff. But that's also needs to be hunted, so it's going to be a bit more challenging in that regard. Now, we need more poles. Eh, I kind of just want to finish out some of these walls. So I think that's what I'll do. We'll finish out those two walls, get to work on the others. And actually, no, that's going to be a doorway there. So let's us hit the wooden jam, which is 10 wood in the door, which is going to be two wood. Boom shakalaka. We got that. And only a couple more walls are necessary and poles, actually. Stand. I stand corrected. I'm sorry. We actually need a couple more. Okay, and then our wood supplies actually. Yeah, might as well just throw down as many poles as possible, which is going to be two at this point. And we're going to need two more walls. Uh, we need another pole, which we don't have the materials for. Hmm. It's going to be a bit of a gathering journey, but we're going to be doing that next time, because for now I do need to head out, so hopefully my house does not get pooped on or anything of the sort. Yeah, that's the best thing I can hope for. And next time when we come back, we're going to go ahead and kind of explore out of reach a little bit more. Explore this very limited alpha for the time being. It's probably not going to be the longest of series, but I do want to kind of take a look into the building. Uh, make ourselves furnish the inside with some crafting. Uh, definitely make some tools and go hunting a little bit. Definitely one of the goals. Go hunting. Uh, furnish the tools. Build up some better tools. And most importantly, a little bit of a... A little bit of a raid target out in the distance. That's what I'm very excited for. So hopefully we can stage a bit of a raid on that. Maybe even get some reinforcements on the server. On um, the off chance that's possible. And see if they have anything worthwhile taking. But that is going to do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you think this is going to be cool. Because this is the first playable alpha. This game, if you haven't already heard about it from the prior videos I did, I really do have high hopes for it. And if you share my hopes with that, I highly recommend that you pre-order the game to help the devs out in programming it. Because their Indiegogo only raised like $1,000. And for the most part, this isn't their main job. They're doing this more as a side thing, so any amount raised will be helpful to them. That is my sales pitch, if you want to call it that. Not really. I just didn't want to say that, though, because I do like supporting devs. Always make sure, uh, even if they do send me keys, which in this case wasn't the case, but even if they do send me uh, press copy, press key, I do always buy the game anyway, and possibly if I have an extra copy, do a giveaway, because I do like supporting devs, especially on Kickstarter and whatnot, but that's enough of a spiel for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying. Hopefully you enjoy Out of Reach. Hopefully you are excited for this game to release. Hopefully you are excited for it to update, because I know... Once the server gets more populated, there's more interaction, and once the game becomes more refined, this is going to be a very fine experience that I can't wait to be a part of, especially be such an early part of. And that's going to do it for me, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, be sure to like, and this will be Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.